Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to do a video update for Cardano. Cardano right now is trading at 5331, 24 hour volume. We are up 38%. Market cap, we are down 4.96%. So, heading over to the chart here on a three day time frame, we can see that price is actually reacting or close to our trend line at the very top here. Multiple candles filling up this trend line. The trend itself is currently in an uptrend of course, but because the price is closer to this bottom of the trend line, we may essentially break it and then come back down. So if we look at our retracement levels using our Fib chart from um, the top of the peak all the way to the bottom of the peak, we can essentially see closer to 38% is where the price has reacted to in the last three days of this candlestick interval. As price comes back down, this is a good marker of 38% to see price come back up. But what we can see in the last previous candlestick, the spinning top right here, has initiated a selling signal at the very top of the RSI. However, when we pair it off with our MACD indicator, we can see that the histograms are quite green here, indicating more of a bull trend. But because the green bars are getting lighter in color, it's another signal that the trend itself may soon be over. And it doesn't really help us either if the lines at the very bottom here, are the orange signal line and the MACD line of the blue line is below 0%. If we want to ensure that the price is going to do a reversal in the primary trend, we need to make sure that these two lines in a bigger time frame is actually um, crossed over our 0%. So going into short term of one day here, again, we do see that the price is closer to the bottom. Our MACD is signaling that the weakness of the trend is soon going to be over by simply seeing these two lines coming together. Now, if these two lines cross over at a crucial area of a trend line, it's going to come back down. And realistically, it may not actually hold in the next retracement, at 38%, we can see our volume indicator, the majority of trades attracted closer below 38% at 51 cents here. So if price does not hold the 38%, um, we may actually come see the Cardano at the 6, 51 cents itself. Sorry guys. So if it, again, if it does come back down, 51 cents is going to be our target. If we do see it cross over closer to the 38% at a 38%, we may not see this and go to the next retracement at the 49 cents itself. We can see the RSI right here is actually indicating a possible buy signal. Um, so long as the K line, which is the sorry, the D line, which is the pink line, crosses over below the 20%, which is the red line, then it will signal some type of support as as the price is coming closer down to this trend line itself. But this is what we're going to be looking for, making sure that it does um, expand closer to this trend line so that we can get the enough support. For our time frame, all right, let's take a look at some of our candlesticks here. Now, candlestick number one, huge, huge engulfing candle striking through our 50 MA line coming down to the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. So as we know, Bollinger Bands, it is considered to be oversold and a possible retracement or a possible pullback that can happen around this level. What we see in the next candle doesn't really give us a sign that we are going to reverse in an uptrend because we did not achieve more than 50% of this candlestick previously. If we don't achieve 50% in this high wick, it doesn't signal that there is pushers of the buyers pushing the price. The majority of the lines is going to be the sellers taking advantage of that. And that's what we're seeing in this candlestick right here. Again, one, two candlesticks close to our trend line. We can see the RSI is at 2% and 1% for our D line, signaling a possible changeover of the direction in an uptrend for our RSI, signaling we are maybe going to go into a reversal. However, we see this histograms, take a look at the size of this candle or this bar here. If it gradually increases, if it gradually increases, our RSI wouldn't as matter as much to be buying it. It may actually come right through here. Again, we should have reached more than 50% of this candlestick, but it's signaling that price is going to continue to come down. If we see lighter colors in our MACD on a four hour time frame, as we are dancing between this trend line, we may see that uptrend come up. And on a four hour time frame, I'm actually going to do our fib chart to kind of see our retracements, our pullbacks coming up, 
see, only reached 78%. If we can come back at 78%, close above it, then we will have that reversal um, itself. But doesn't look too strong, to be honest with you. I think it's going to come back down a little bit more. We need to make sure that we don't um, essentially close below this trend line so we can come back up and that would be more of a feasible situation afterwards. So that's my video update for Cardano, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.